everyone, I'm Raz the Razplay, and this is, well, interesting. See, here's the deal. This is clearly a video on how to make a void vault and a void bag, but I've never made one. Ever, ever, ever. I have never set the system up ever in any playthrough. So, not only will you be learning, so will I. So here's what I want us all to do going forward in this video. Normally, this is where I do the spiel about subscribe and all that fun stuff. Please do that stuff as well. But here's what I need from you today. Because I'm getting into new territory here, what I need from you is to give me some more ideas. So down in the comments below, let me know what you think would be fun for a video. Whether it's a challenge, tutorial, item spotlight, anything at all. Anything you want to see on this channel, let me know in the comments down below. And we'll try it out. So, let's go ahead, let's try this out, and let's make a void bag and void vault. All right, so here we are, here we go. I've got at least a little bit of a graph going on in the background here to show you what you're going to need to set up the Void Vault to start. But before we get there, let's look at the wiki. The Void Vault is a placeable item that extends the player's inventory in the manner similar to Piggy Bank, Safe, and Defender's Forge. So basically what you're going to do, if you look right here, I have a money trough, right? So I use the money trough. No, come back here. No, there we go. So you go into the money trough. There you go, and you can access your Piggy Bank. Well, apparently the Void Vault acts just similar to this. I don't, I don't know if it's exact. I've never done it before, so but apparently it won't be similar to this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to show you first where to get all the items, and then we're going to set up the void vault and go from there. Sound good? A good. All right, so here we go. Here are the recipes, and let's show you what you need to do to get the void vault. So, as you can see here, you require bone. So you'll have to at least defeat Skeletron to get the bone, because you can get the bone from the dungeon, and you can't get into the dungeon without defeating Skeletron. You get the point. Next up is the jungle spores. Now, the jungle spores, you don't need to defeat anything for it. You just need to be in the jungle and find them. They're sparkling on the ground. And finally, you need shadow scale, or if you're in a crimson world, you need tissue sample. Now, you do not need to defeat a boss to get these items you simply need to take a couple sections maybe of the eater of worlds get the t or the uh the shadow scale that drops on the ground you'll be good to go but it's you'll probably wind up defeating the boss i mean it's very much your nickel and diamond here trying to get a tissue sample or a shadow scale without defeating the boss so let's assume you're defeating either the eater of worlds or brain of cthulhu and skeletron in order to make this got that good all right, so real quick, I won't show you how to defeat Eater of Worlds or Brain of Cthulhu or Skeletron. You need to defeat those bosses to be able to access the items that you need to create the Void Vault. Got that? Good. But this here is a jungle sport, in case you don't know. Ow, would you get out of here? We were, we're filming here, and now we've lost it. Anyway, that was a jungle spore. You find them in the jungle. You got that? Good. Excellent. Let's get out of here. Here's one more over here, all right? That's what they look like. Make sure you grab a bunch of those, and you'll be golden. Let's get back to the surface before I get in trouble. All right, so now what you need to make the void vault is you need 15 bone, 8 jungle spore, and either 15 tissue sample or 15 shadow scale. As you can see, you know me, I love my corruption world, so we do have enough shadow scale to get this done. But you can't get this done, say, at an anvil or at a hell forge or at a titanium forge or anything like that. You need to create this at a demon altar or a crimson altar. Got that? Good. So we're going to go find one now, and when we get there, I'll show you how I craft it. All right, and here we are next to a demon altar. As you can see, if I head over to crafting here, there you go. There is your void vault. Now it says can be placed, can be used to store your items. Stored items can only be accessed by your, by you. Got it. Will contain items picked up by a void bag. So there we go. 15, 8, and 15. You got this ready to go. And there we go. We've made a void vault. Now we just got to make the void bag. All right, so to make the void bag, you need once again bone, spore, and either tissue sample or shadow scale. You need 30 bone, 15 spore, and either 30 shadow scale or 30 tissue sample. Got that? Good. So I don't need to touch anything here. This will save me some time. Now let's go over to a demon altar with enough of those items, and we can make a void, void bag. All right, here we are just chilling out at the Demon Altar. It is day two because, well, there were some internet issues yesterday. But here we are back ready to make the Void Bag. But before we do, once again, please let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see for videos on the channel because I'm open for ideas and I know your ideas are great. So please make sure to drop those comments down below. And of course, you know, drop a like. So anyway, let's head over here. Void Bag, there we go. 30 Bone, 15 Jungle Spore, 30 Shadow Scale. We are at a Demon Altar. Let's go. A Void Bag created. All right, as you can see, I have placed my Void Vault down, and now let's go check out how it functions. Let's fly up here, and I have, get out of the way, block, I have a Money Trough open, and I've got the Void Vault. So, get rid of that guy right there. So, the Money Trough, as you can see here, the Money Trough, you right-click on it, and you've got all your money in there. And what you can do is you can physically move stuff in there manually. Got that good. Amazing. So, the Void Vault 
functions similarly to the money drop in a way and in a way it doesn't so we're going to open this up here there we go so now if your void bag which is right here if your void bag is closed you close it and open it with the right click if it's closed it won't automatically load stuff into the void vault got it so you can physically go in like that manually put everything in much like a money drop very similar right but there is another function all right, so here we are in my hallowed key farm, which has netted me, I believe, exactly zero hallowed keys so far. It works, just, you know, like the RNG. Anyway, so we are back here, and as you can see, I have a full inventory, and I did that for a reason. So if you'll, if you'll notice here, the void bag is closed. So if it's closed, like I said, you have to physically take things and put them into the void vault when you open it up, just like a money drop. Got it? Good. But if you open it up, and we're going to open that up now with the right click, we're going to head on down here, and as you can see, like I said, We've got everything's full here, right? So when you head down here, oh, it's purple. Why is it purple? You see all those purple things there? Well, what that means is it's going straight to the void vault. Because of the fact that the bag is open, we have a full inventory. Any items we pick up go right to the vault, which tells me I should have been doing this a very, very long time ago. We're going to head back up here now. We're going to pop open the void bag like this. Do that. There we go. There's the void vault. And as you can see there, there is the extra items we picked up. My dear God, why haven't I done this all along? All right, so there we go. That is how to make a void vault and a void bag and use them. As you can see, you right click on that. There's all those items still. Now I have to clean up and put away all my inventory. That's going to be a royal pen. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun for me to make. It was great to finally make a void bag, which I should have done, I'm going to say, at least the day after. 1.4 dropped. Am I right? Right. Anyway, like I always say, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment down below. Remember to tell me what you'd like to see on the channel, because I definitely will make those as long as they aren't too difficult. Because I'm good. I'm not that good. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Take care. Ciao.